I'm Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. Today's new pattern and video is for this herringbone hat. I'll show you both the hat and how to crochet the herringbone stitch. I'm using 200 yards of worsted weight yarn and a size J crochet hook. To begin, chain 41 for a woman's size. Changes for other sizes are listed on my website. Try to make the chain loosely as we're going to work partly in the bottom loops. Skip the first chain and in the next 12 chains, make one single crochet using the back loops only. We'll crochet the brim on the first third of each row and the crown on the remaining part of the row. For the next 28 stitches, we'll make the crown. Start with a single crochet in the bottom loop of the next chain. Insert your hook into the vertical bar of the previous stitch and the next bottom loop of the chain. These are herringbone forward pass stitches. They basically are modified single crochet stitches. We're going to make 28 of these total across the row. Once completed, chain one and turn. For row two, we're going to work with the top chain loops. Keep your yarn always in the front and insert your hook from the back to the front. Yarn over and push through. Yarn over and complete the stitch. It's kind of like a backwards single crochet. For the next stitch, in the back, insert into that last stitch's vertical bar and into the next stitch. Yarn over, push through. Yarn over, and take off all the loops on your hook. And again, insert into the back vertical bar, then into the next stitch, yarn over, push through, yarn over, and take off all the loops. You'll find after about four rows, you can do this stitch just as quickly as a normal single crochet. You can see how it's forming the herringbone look. Keep going until all 28 of the herringbone return stitches are completed. Over the last 12 stitches, make one single crochet for the brim using the back loops only. And mark the stitch that begins the brim. For row three, do the 12 single crochet of the brim in the back loops only and place a stitch marker on the last back loop. Then begin the herringbone with a single crochet. Then do the vertical loop and next stitch. Vertical loop, next stitch. Keep doing these herringbone forward passes across the row. You'll end up with 28 of them. Yarn 
And then we repeat row two. Do a backwards single crochet to start. Then insert into the vertical loop and the next stitch. Vertical loop in the next stitch. And again, I refer to these as herringbone return passes. You'll make 28 of them. You can see what it looks like. Then do the brim part. For this next row, we just repeat row three. Keep repeating and alternating rows two and three for this pattern. Before you get too far along, measure the width of the rows. It should be about 12 inches across. Continue making more rows until a total of 51 rows or more or less if needed. Always ending with a row three repeat. For this woman's size, you'll want the flat measurement to be 19 inches worth of rows, and the brim part should be able to stretch easily to about 22 inches. Once you end with a row three repeat, fasten and leave a long tail end for sewing the seam. I like to sew my seam this way. I use the inner loop, on the one side and the outer on the other to make it look seamless. Then cinch up the top with two strands of yarn woven in and out along the top edge. Tie a knot securely and add a pom-pom if you wish. And that's my herringbone hat. Thanks so much for watching my video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified of new videos from me each week. And if you liked the video you just watched, be sure to check out my next video, which I think you'll like very much.